video we're going to just do a little bit of housekeeping so we have one push button located that we need to copy and we also have uh, a foot and we need three more alright so how do we do that um, there's a material already added to this and a material already added to this guy if you bring in your component add a material to it when you copy that you're gonna copy the material as well and save yourself um, a lot of time so let's just go through that exercise um, so we're gonna select the red push button we select that little um, colorful icon I'm not sure what it is and I click browse I select my red gloss material select open and don't want to give it a transparency don't want to screw around with any of this um, and I'm applying it to the part at the document level here you could um, change and just say I want to select a surface I want to select a face or I want to select a feature in this particular instance I don't care if the whole buttons red because the only thing we're gonna see is the top surface so we click OK and we're good to go now I need to copy seven more buttons and the best way to do that is in this view so I am going to hold down the control button and now left click my red button I, I mean my left mouse button I'm holding down the control button and left click dragging left click drag left click drag well that's tough to say left click drag left click drag left click drag um, we're gonna go to top view use our move command just put them in a vicinity of where they should roughly be and now because we rotated that first button these come in in that same uh, rotation so that allows us to save a little bit of time there as well okay so let's just uh, throw some relations on these guys um, concentric concentric usually I'd go right down the line but because I have them all kinda bunched up like this I'm gonna have to do them two by two which is okay I mean you can really do them anyway because this list ends up becoming independent to each one of these and I'll show you that in a minute now with the mate let me just close that so I can open it again just in case I went to get some popcorn uh, mate I can invoke that this way or I can left click on this and bring it up through that little uh, icon bar or whatever it's called click OK so I'm left clicking everything and you need roughly um, you know when, when you're picking a concentric relationship there's not really much you're gonna change about it um, I could tell it I wanna give it a dimensional relationship but we will get into that I don't um, there's just no need for it here whoops alright wasn't paying attention let's alright so here's a good example of I happen to believe that I screwed this one up so how do I how do I view this relation so I'm gonna single select so I know where it is I know it's this button now because it's highlighted left click on that plus button and let's open up mates and I did I gave that a, cons a 
coincident and that's not right. So you left click on it. Oops, I had already left clicked. So left click to highlight it, right click and delete it. It's going to say sure and it's good when this box is empty that's a good sign. When that box is full you got to be careful because you may just delete all kinds of stuff and and then you end up with a cobweb. So let's go into the top view so I can move this back where he should be and let's just put a concentric now the tough thing about one once you color something and I usually pick colors that ha that contrast well to the background uh, but we want to add some materials and show you that. But if you are working at it, you may want to pick a dark color here and a light color for your buttons just to get by, just so you can see them better. All right, so right here I selected something that's that's it's it's incorrect. There, there's I shouldn't select the vertex. So I can left click over here, right click, and either delete that or clear the selection. I'm going to clear the selection and go at it again. Okay, I selected that cylinder and that circle, and that's concentric, and now he's coincident to that surface isometric view, zoom out. Alright, we're almost there. I'm going to put the feet on and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.